Hello and welcome to this short video in the series of tips about formatting and submitting TMAs for TM111. So what is the best way to name your TMA file? Your tutor will need to know who the TMA is from and obviously including your name will help. Your tutor most likely teaches on more than one module, therefore the module code is also useful to have in there. If you save and upload your TMA document with a file name that includes your name, the module code and the TMA number, for example something like this, would make things ideal. And a final couple of tips. Try to work on your TMA as you study the module material. Most students find this a productive and effective way of working. It helps you to focus on what you need to learn and it allows you to assimilate concepts by putting techniques into context and this can greatly assist your retention and comprehension. Also, try to make a habit of going back to your work to reread it before you consider it complete and ready for submission. The delay in writing an answer and the final read-through gives your brain time for reflection and the opportunity to spot issues that you didn't see on the initial write-up. I hope you found this video useful. Please post any comments you have in the Student Cluster Forum. Thanks for watching.